Hey everyone, happy Monday. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about Seven Seas revising a couple of their light novel titles. I know this is a little bit of old news, but too bad. So to catch everybody up, uh, a couple months ago, there were these Reddit posts where they compared different translations of the light novels and there were a lot of paragraphs, different things cut out. This screenshot basically uh, will help you understand that there were huge sections. The section in red was the section cut out of the official release of the light novel. And the only reason people really knew that they were left out was due to fan translations. So there was a lot of worry that censorship was not only happening in anime, as we know with the dubs and localization of that, but now it's actually happening in light novels and manga as well. Now, through my own experiences, I have read manga that have had pretty bad translations, pretty cringy localization that could be akin to what Funimation does. I read this manga not too long ago that had this really ham-fisted line about hashtag me too. It had absolutely nothing to do with the context of the conversation, which not only shows me that whoever was translating it wanted to shove hashtag me too into there, but it also shows me they probably have no idea what hashtag me too is because they didn't even use it in a correct way. It was just confusing. As far as light novels go, I haven't read too many light novels myself, but I do know that Adam has read a few light novels of some series that he had interest in. So how they go about officially translating those light novels, they don't actually do a direct translation of what's written in Japanese. What they'll actually do in some cases is they'll hire YA authors in America to rewrite and rework what was written in Japanese into their own writing style so that it flows in English a lot better. And it seems as though they get some creative liberties of what to edit out and what to change, which is not necessarily something that the fans want. And I, I just want to take this time to say that I think it's funny that a lot of these people who are adapting the light novels into English tend to be American YA authors because they're notoriously known for being bad authors in, in the YA department. And Adam always complains about the writing, the writing style itself. He always complains is so bad <laughs> in the light novels that he reads. And he's like, this is the worst writing ever, and he has no idea if it's because the original Japanese author is a bad writer, or if it's because the person adapting the story is the bad author. So it can be pretty frustrating. All that being said, I understand why you can't do a direct translation, because I imagine that there are some things that won't translate well, or writing styles that just don't work in our language. What bothers me is the fact that they have so much creative control, they can edit entire paragraphs out, and no one up top will say anything. So Seven Seas admitted that a couple of different uh, light novel volumes were edited too much and that they were actually going to be changing them to be more accurate and reprinting the volumes. So hardcore fans who, who want to get the more accurate version of that light novel will basically have to buy it again. So Seven Seas is revising and republishing Classroom of the Elite Volume 7, Mushoko Tensai Volume 1, Mushoko Tensai Volume 2, and I'm in Love with the Villainless Volume 1 after receiving criticism for changing or cutting scenes. And they list some examples here that there's a scene in the original Japanese where a man tries to pull down a girl's underwear. In the English adaptation, the man instead pulls on the woman's shirt so it will cover her stomach and keep her warm. Another scene avoided using the word rape. And in I'm in Love with the Villainous, there were paragraphs about uh, LGBT representation that were removed, and the author became aware of this and said that she was sad about the changes. Now, I don't think that Seven Seas is usually where I look to when it comes to censorship 
in anime or in manga or even light novels. But a lot of these things are something that could go right over somebody's head. I mean, if they just have like a book with directly translated text, they give it to an author, they say, okay, adapt this so that it sounds nice. And then they read the adaptation. Maybe they don't notice that that stuff has been changed or removed. And obviously fans won't notice that stuff has been changed or removed because a lot of fans in America won't be able to read the original text unless, of course, they look up fan translations. And a lot of translators out there are not a fan of fan translations because of that reason. So long as there are those translations out there, there become standards for how something is translated and if it's translated correctly. The original worst translator was, of course, the Notorious 4Kids. Now people look at Funimation like it's the new 4Kids because of how much they've been changing. And now, of course, they're on anime committees where they can directly change the content before it even gets dubbed. And I'm not super psyched about Sony owning all anime and being in charge of all dubs. All that being said, it is a good thing that they are re-releasing the titles and fixing the mistakes. Anime fans are very vocal about just wanting accurate translations, not wanting too much localization, not wanting things changed or edited out, definitely not edited out. A lot of translators and writers have for the most part defended localization, saying that it needs to be done, and in a lot of cases it really doesn't need to be done. And sometimes they'll even attack fans for criticizing or being angry about the changes. Oh my god, there was this one line in this clip that I saw on Twitter, where this, this villain character entered a scene and he said, all of you skateboarding fools, and they translated it to this weird saying that I, I never heard before, but apparently they thought it was localization. <laughs> apparently they interpreted it as localization when I, as an American, have never heard that saying before. What, what did they say? All you bitches and hoes and non-binary bros or something? Hey bitches and bros and non-binary hoes! Who says that? <laughs> heard that. It's the, there's a lot of very Funimation specific terms that I have never heard in real life, but I've only heard on Funimation dubs. Like the saying, what the crap? Never heard, never heard it anywhere but a Funimation dub. No one else says that but you guys. It's like they're trying to create new trends. It's weird. But anyway, to conclude the video, I have seen manga with certain censorship and certain localization. Obviously, it's a lot harder to edit parts out of manga or to change an entire scene because you have the visuals to help you in that area. Whereas in a light novel, it's easy to change everything that's happening because there, there's no pictures to show you that what they say is happening is not happening. You just kind of use your imagination through the whole thing. And there's no way for you to really know if the translation is accurate unless you, of course, can access those fan translations. So fan translations are very valuable this day and age, or just knowing Japanese in general, very valuable among anime fans. I can understand uh, a lot of panic that people have when it comes to not knowing if what they're getting is the same as what Japan is getting. Like I said, Adam has read some light novels and he al he's always blown away by how bad the writing is and he has no idea if the original author is the one who's bad or if it's the person adapting it who is doing a bad job at writing it. And for the most part, he'll, he'll never really know because he can't read Japanese. So definitely let me know what you think about the whole situation of light novels being mistranslated by authors or having so much creative freedom that they can edit stuff out or completely change scenes. And of course, let me know what you think about Seven Seas in particular, deciding to re-release the volumes with uh, uh, the scenes kept in. I don't think it's a bad thing for fans to have standards. I mean, that's the only way that you get better material is if you have standards. If you have no standards, then you can just be fed shit. 
<laughs> all your life and you just take it, you know? And I would never encourage any harassment of specific people, but I do think you should be vocal about when something upsets you and when you want to see change. Otherwise, nothing's ever going to happen. So thank you guys for watching. Leave your own thoughts, concerns, comments, complaints down in the comments section below. And remember to like the video if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!